So many times as a coach, one of the most frustrating missed tackles that we see our players make is that tackle when the ball carrier is running down the sideline. And all he really needs to do as a defensive player is to force him out of bounds. So we try to practice this drill. We call it the sideline tackle. The biggest coaching point is, hey, you have a 12th man on the football field. And that 12th man is that sideline that the ball carrier is straddling as he runs. Number one, we talk about nose it up. And what I mean by nose it up is usually we talk about the far number being the aiming point on a side tackle or a side up as we talked earlier. On a side line tackle where we have the, the boundary as, as our 12th defender, now we tell the kids, hey, you can nose it up a little bit more heavily. You don't need to get your head across quite as much because he's got nowhere to go. So by nosing it up, I mean, usually with our head being across on a side tackle, we say it's the far number. Now we can say it's the near shoulder pad of the running back as our aiming point. So we say nose it up through the near shoulder, nose it up through the near shoulder. The second thing is, I've already talked about it, is use the sideline as your 12th man. Still want to stay in a good heavy hip pocket relationship, maybe a little bit heavier to his inside than you would in a normal side tackle. Because again, the most dangerous cut when a guy's running down the field is the cut back. So let's not overrun it and run out of bounds. Again, let's keep him, build a wall, and keep that, that, that running back or that wide receiver on the outside edge between your body and the sideline. Make him try to split the two of you and push him out of bounds. And that's why we call it the 12th defender. And then the last thing is, make sure you let your kids have an opportunity to force that ball carrier out of bounds. When you're doing the drill, always use the boundary, always use the sideline. Here's the way we like to work the drill. We line up the ball carrier two to three yards inside, inside the uh, sideline. We'll line up our defensive back or our defensive player at about 15 yards apart between him and the ball carrier. We'll start the ball carrier down the sideline and we'll start the defensive back towards the sideline. We either use uh, dots or cones so these kids understand when we want to teach them to come to balance upon, upon the ball carrier. Now we tell that ball carrier to try to run down the sideline. We have the defensive back or defensive player nose it up and just basically drive them out of bounds. Once they start to get a feel for this drill, the next part of the drill, or phase two of the drill, will be to have the ball carrier come down the sideline and try to cut it back. And that's where the coaching point of staying heavy in the hip pocket becomes very essential. Here's a shot of the sideline tackle.